commander's sister is visiting. Do you? Apparently, the hip hop she was brought to us. You made it. Of course I did. Barnavas was ready to go after you again. Like he said, it's the thought that counts, right? Apparently. Come, the others are waiting. We were worried you wouldn't make it. Especially with every Athenian guard looking for you. Cleon will have to do more than that to stop me. What's all this? We've begun working on a plan to take down Cleon. Although I hardly call it a plan. Lots of talking, not much action. It feels different without Pericles. But his inspiration lives on. That's why we're here. Where once we gathered to forget our problems, now we meet them head on. And get back to what truly matters. To restore Athens to its former glory. So you're taking down Cleon? Tell me the plan. It won't be simple. His death would disrupt the peace and be worse for Athens. He's right. We must discredit him first. Aristophanes apparently has some play he thinks will do the job. Some play? It is so much more than that. Oh, don't get your tunic in a twist. I just don't see why we can't all love each other. It's so much more fun that way. What's so special about the play? Will your famous orange ape impression be making an appearance? Ha! Funnily enough, that was the inspiration. Isn't it a risk to show him in a bad light in front of his admirers? I think the play will change their minds. Good art is risky, but my plan will work. We can't just sit around. Cleon is sending a boat to Mitalini to kill the people there. The people trust Cleon. They'll vote for whatever action he puts forth. But that does not mean we plan to do nothing. Taking down Cleon won't be easy. But with your help, it will be possible. <sighs> It'll be a disaster! A disaster, I tell you! Calm down! What are you talking about? My masterpiece! It will change everything! Amuse, astound, titillate, and open people's eyes to Cleon's machinations! But I need you! I'm no actor or poet, Aristophanes. By the gods, no! It's Thespis! My leading man is missing! A play with no star is no play at all! How do you know he's missing? He never misses a rehearsal, unless he's drunk, or with a woman, or a man. Could be anything, then. No, he knows how important this is. He wouldn't let me down. Something must be wrong. You could just get another actor. Oh, no. Thespis always draws a huge crowd for his performances. The more people who experience my blistering indictment of Cleon, the better. So where would I find him? Thespis usually doesn't go far from his home. You'd best start there. This shouldn't take long. Prepare the show, and I'll be back as soon as I find him. look like an actor, unless you're playing an Athenian guard. I... I... Hush! I'm going to ask some questions, and you're going to answer. But Commander Axenor... What's your name? Bullis. Well, Bullis, it's your choice whether you walk out of here. Do you understand? Yes. Tell me, what are you looking for? Some stupid play. They don't tell me anything. Play? 
I just do what I'm told, and they told me to destroy the manuscript. What have you done with this piece? S some of the boys are meant to keep him drunk in the tavern down the street. You'd better be telling me everything. All I know is they wanted to keep this actor busy. See for yourself, he's at the tavern. You sure that's all? I just follow the commander's orders. I don't ask questions. Get out of here and count yourself lucky. Thank you. Thank you. Why did she... I think he's had enough. And what business is it of yours, friend? Yeah, what business? Oh, look at you. You'd best be leaving. I'm here for his employer, Aristophanes. So? He's not working now? Yes, he's not working. I like him, though. Aristophanes, funny man. But opinions told him it's dangerous. That it is. I need him sober and rested. I don't think you understand the situation. Commander Raxenor's orders are he's not to leave. I said I'd stay. Don't want trouble. Give me this piece, and I'll give you something in return. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Here, for your troubles. I'll look after him now. Ha! A fool and his Rachmi! Very well. You won't see us again. I's not feeling too good. Yes, the two He said, you're behind the mask, you'll be perfectly safe, he said. You so strong, Ekaterini. Whee! Giddy up! My parents said you'll either be an actor or a drunk. <laughs> I fooled them, I became both. Told him, Cleo. Thank you, but you can go no further. For I know true love. I just need you ready to perform tomorrow. Of course, and I just need my muse. My love, I can't. I won't perform without her. You will perform. Uh-uh, not without a Caterini. A divine name for a divine body. I mean being. Those men in the tavern, who are they? Oh, the admirers? Harmless, really. And I do like a man in uniform. You need to sober up. This play is important. So say Caterini. I need my muse. Please. She's just west of here at the house of Aphrodite. If it means you'll do the play, I'll find your muse. Oh, the sausage seller was my idea. Sometimes I wonder if leaving Cephalonia was then a good idea. Not my usual type. Too many muscles. But if you've got a drachmi, we can come to an arrangement. Thespis said I'd find you here. Ah, my darling Thespis, an artist in so many ways. But let's talk about us. You don't understand. I need your help. 
So many do. These hands have helped more people than Hippocrates. No, Thespis told me to find you. Well, I'm not giving discounts to his friends, if that's what you're thinking. No, Thespis wants you to go to him. He needs you to help him perform tomorrow. Thespis does love to perform, but he'll be doing it without me this time. But you're his muse? Commander Exenor has made it clear it would cost me my life if I were to associate with Thespis right now. I've been hearing about this Commander Exenor a lot recently. He's one of Cleon's favorite dogs. I've heard stories from some of the girls. Likes to play dress up, got a fancy robe and mask. Likes to hurt people too. I'm sorry. He runs the local garrison. His men are always here. They tell him in an instant if I was gone. Why would this commander threaten me? It's all to do with his stupid play. They're doing everything they can to protect Cleon's image. Still, to threaten you. Actors are a superstitious bunch. Commander Exenor knows Thespis won't perform without his muse waiting in the wings. Don't worry. I'll deal with Commander Exenor. You don't understand what a bastard he is. He's more than just some Athenian soldier. What do you mean? Secret meetings, strange visitors. He gives me the creeps. You'll have to kill him. There's no other option. If I do this, will you go to Thespis? It'd be my pleasure. Where can I find the commander? In the barracks across the street to the north. The girls have to visit him there when he wants servicing. Doesn't have the stamina to come down here. Can you describe him? He wears one of those big, stupid helms. Makes up for other areas. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Bring me back his little sword as proof. <sighs> I'll be back soon. Let no man be called happy before his death. Till then, he's not happy. Only lucky. Seems little doubt that Drexenor is aligned with the Cult of Cosmos. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. Is this proof enough of his death? Mm. 
not quite the sort I meant. But as long as he's dead. My part is done. Go make sure Thespis is at the theater in time for his performance. You are too tense. Come here and lie a while. We've time to have a little fun. Or is it always business with you? Is it with you? So blood does pulse in those veins. It roars. But what of Thespis? Thespis is an actor. Half the girls here have been his muse at one time or another. Now, we need to worry about Thespis and Aristophanes' play. This play is important to you. With it, we hope to make change. For the better. I can see there is more in your eyes. But we are all entitled to our secrets. It's enough for you to know that I plan to stop men like Commander Exenor and Cleon. You have news of Thespis? He's fine. And he'll be fit to perform your play tomorrow. Oh, thank the gods. I know what actors can be like. Compared to what I'm used to, it was a breath of fresh air. That is so good to hear. Here, for your troubles. The people may be the heart of Athens, but my play will be his voice. If Cleon should perish, you also know what a pig's education he has had. Such insults! And to think I was going to propose a statue to be erected in the city to each of you for your bravery! See! He treats us like all daughters and crows at our feet to deceive us. But the cunning wherein his power lies shall this time recoil on himself. Ah, alas, the conspirators are murdering me. I should have stayed. Someone needed to stop Cleon. Fools look backwards in times like these, and you're no fool. For now, we work to save Mytilini. So that's what all this is? Some kind of plan? Ever since I heard Cleon speak of Mytilini, I have known something was wrong, and I have been taking steps to find out just what. Your plan sounds promising. One of my students is posing as a guard at the Acropolis. Apparently, Cleon is hiding something there, and has been meeting others in secret. That's a bold move. 
desperate times. If you believe there's something at the Acropolis that will help, I'll find it. I expect you'll find the proof you need of his offenses. What if the people don't turn against Cleon? They will. I'll be speaking in front of them soon. With your help, we'll show them the man behind the facade. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the Acropolis Sanctuary. Anything else you can tell me about where to look? What I know is Cleon's always loved the statue of Athena. Sounds like a good place to start. I'll find something at the Acropolis that Cleon won't be able to deny. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Penix. If you find anything that can help, meet me there. I'll be quick. This looks like somewhere Cleon would come. I should be extra careful in this area. Looks like someone dug here. Muddy tracks. Probably came from someone in the garden. This shovel looks recently used. So to get the key, I need to find the commander Phylos. Oh, God, I'm not 
Right. This is exactly what we needed. You're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilini is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the police, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us right now to change their minds. So you'll join me? Talking to the people may not be enough. We need to show them why following Cleon is wrong. I'm surprised to hear you suggest such an idea. Desperate times. Isn't that what you said? So I did. Follow my lead and respond as if you're one of Cleon's supporters, not mine. I'll do my best. But Socrates, Cleon is a man of the people. Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am. What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? That's ridiculous! I'm not harming the person, someone else is! Would the person not have been safe from harm otherwise? From me at least, yes. Then you admit you bear responsibility for that harm, for you have still participated in it, even if indirectly. I suppose I do. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right! So, let me ask you another question. Who should you trust? The many, or the one who has more expertise? The majority is always right. And who is informing the majority? I suppose we're following the one at the top. And if you found out the person at the top had lied to the people you follow, what would you do? People who lie to me don't deserve my trust. Nor should they. After all, if someone lies to you a single time, what's to say they would not do so again? Yes, you're right. So, you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course! Oh, Athenians! Would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another even through someone else? I would! And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not! Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilene, and we have the proof he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilene, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands too. The ship must be stopped.
That was a great display of rhetoric. The people will be unable to deny what they heard. I guess I learned something. It must be from all the time I've spent around you. Debate may not always be as quick as a blade, but it can have just as big an effect. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. I received word that Erbipos is dead. So, what's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Alexios! Brasidas sent me to find you. He's alive and well. Where is he now? Amphipolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So what are you going to do? Brasidas needs my help. I plan on giving it to him. Though, should our paths cross, I won't hesitate to kill Cleon. Whatever you decide, remember he's only a man. I can't promise anything. Be safe. Finally, is someone who's willing to have some fun. I'm not sure how many more times I can take Socrates rejecting me. I'm sure you'll get through it. Perhaps you can help take my mind off it. I could always use a bit more fun. I knew it. Let the walls sing with the echoes of our passion as all tension melts from our bodies. I could use some relaxing. Say no more. Times of war, a little bit of fun goes a long way. I need to talk to him. He must be the one Pythagoras man. The lair of the Sphinx. Impressive. Oh my, Amistios. What are you doing here? My name is Gorgias, and I have spent my life researching the past of Iotia and the Peloponnese. I'm looking for the other half of this amulet. Ah, yes, I know of items like this. I was seeking a piece similar in size. Where is it? 
Unfortunately, my apprentice was the one tracking down its final location in Locris. He went to retrieve it, but never returned. I will do everything I can to find your missing apprentice. I appreciate the help, Mistios. I am very worried about my pibos. Where was your apprentice heading? We heard rumors of a sighting near the tomb of many calves in Viotia. What was Pibos looking for? There was a cave discovered that might contain items of great significance. I sent him to validate the claims before I made the journey myself. Don't worry. I'll find out what happened to Pibos. He's over there! This must be Pibos, or what's left of him. The creature that killed Pibos must have eaten the amulet. This must be the key. Another challenger. I hope you're more resilient than the last one. By the gods! This statue came alive! I am no statue, child. If you cannot comprehend what stands before you, how are you to entertain me? What are you? The Sphinx. The guardian of truth and knowledge. Why are you here? The gods sent me to protect something, and I've been its guardian ever since. I came here for another reason. Oh, then tell me, little one, why are you here? You protect an object of great power. I've been asked to return it to where it belongs. A most noble of causes. Sadly, I cannot grant your request. There's too much at stake. I won't leave without it. The power I guard is not for the weak-willed. I can resist. One must risk everything in the pursuit of knowledge. If you can answer my questions wisely, you will have proven yourself worthy. I create my lair with earth and string, and dispatch my prey with a biting sting. A 
A spider. Good thinking, little one. This thing all things devour. Birds, beasts, trees, flowers. Nos iron bites steel, grinds hard stones to meal. Slays kings, ruins towns, and beats high mountains down. Time. I'm impressed. What is always old and sometimes new. Never sad, sometimes blue. Never empty, but sometimes full. Never pushes, always pulls. The moon. An interesting choice. You are an interesting one. Now, take what you have learned and touch the symbols that reflect your choices. When did this happen? Thank the gods you're here. A hunting party has been attacked outside the city, near the cursed land of Oedipus. Any survivors? This man saw dead bodies, but he could still hear screaming. There are many dangerous beasts out in the wild. If someone is injured, they won't last long. I need you to go and rescue whoever is still alive, and put an end to the dangerous beast that attacked them. All right, I'll destroy the beast and see if anyone's still in one piece. If they are, bring them back to me, and I'll do what I can to save them. There are a lot of hunting grounds nearby. Where should I look? They were sighted following animal tracks around Snakehead Rock. Do you know what attacked them? Not for certain. The roar could have been from any number of beasts. Many predators called the wilds of Viotia their home. How many people will I find out there? It sounded like only one hunter was left alive, but hunting parties usually contain three or four people. I'll go and find the trail.
Must be what's left of the hunting party. Fate. I need to get him back to Hippocrates before he bleeds out all over me. Thevians. Cowards that surrender to Xerxes. How's the patient? He'll survive if I treat his injuries. If? This man is a monster. He's a slave trader who treats people so terribly that they injure themselves just to avoid working for him. <sighs> if I help him, he'll continue to hurt others. But if I choose to do nothing, many will be spared pain and suffering. It shouldn't matter what this man has done. He deserves to be treated like anyone else. We can't judge others when they're at our mercy. I know it's my duty to help this man, but if you'd seen some of the injuries I've treated that he's caused, you would understand my doubts. The innocents of the Greek world have suffered enough lately. What if I free his slaves? If he has no slaves, he can't mistreat them anymore. And you'll be able to treat him without guilt. Yes. I can save this man. And you can prevent him from hurting others. Our kindness here will show him the error of his ways, show him a different path to walk. You would do this for me? Of course I'll free the slaves for you. Thank you, my friend. Where are these slaves being held? I remember paying a visit to a camp on the riverbank east of Lake Cobais to treat a slave for self-inflicted injuries. I try there. Are hunting parties often attacked this close to the city? It's quite unusual, but with the war raging all around us and the plague consuming everything else, it's no surprise the beasts are becoming more desperate. If the slaves are in danger, I will need to hurry. I need to talk to her. I see him. I see him. Who 
were at the end of it, Arthur. You have offered me freedom. Thank you for your kindness. Turn away, Arthur. Hey! <laughs> Thank you for freeing us. That beast Galeos has worked us all to the brink of death. Now I can return home to my family. I freed the slaves. I've treated his injuries enough to stabilize him, but he isn't out of danger yet. I don't know if I can bring myself to complete the treatment. I've freed his slaves and his business is finished. Perhaps our kindness will show him there is another path. If I do nothing, I'll be no better than him. I'll make sure he recovers. When he does, be sure to tell him how his life was in our hands. Only the gods have the power to decide life and death. What I do is insignificant compared to their benevolence. I've seen you save many from a trip down the sticks. But look at the plague. For all my knowledge and experience, I could do nothing against it. I have to accept that my reach only goes so far. Thank you for your help, my friend. I must go. I have an appointment with a patient elsewhere. Ukas falles esti! Poithian! Poithisitis! It's burning! It's burning! Hippocrates, you know it's unwise to upset a patient. He asks me to end his life when he knows I can't. Messius, please help me. I'm in such terrible pain. You cannot simply ask someone to kill you in my presence. I'm your physician. I will not allow it. I can ease your pain, analyze your symptoms, and try to cure you. But that's all. Life is about choice, and we should all be able to choose for ourselves when we leave this world. And I will, once I know my family's future is secured. Secured how? My family is one of the richest in Thebes, and we have many rivals. When I die, my son will become the head of our house. Oh. Ah, he's just a boy. Ah. Uh, I need to ensure they can't take advantage of my death. I'll deal with your rivals and give your son a fighting chance. Thank you, Mistyus. If you steal their assets, it will weaken their position and prevent them from posing a threat to my family. That will buy my son time. 
What do I need to steal? To really weaken them, steal their debt registry, the mortgage testimonials, and their collection of fine jewels. Where do I need to go? Their estate is nearby. It's one of the most finely decorated homes in all of Thebes. Except for mine, of course. Why not just kill them and remove the threat for good? If they're weakened, they won't pose a threat to my family's position. If they're removed, another family will rise up to take their place and still pose a threat. This solution keeps my family safe and their position secure. Stealing isn't normally what I'm paid for, but I'll get it done. If doing this helps bring him some semblance of peace, I will pray for Tiki to watch over you. I've done what you asked. Your family's position will be secure for quite some time. You have given me hope that my name will live on long after I'm gone. All I can ask the gods for now is that my son lives a longer and happier life than I. I'm in your debt. You don't owe me a thing, really. Now, it pains me to ask. But I need your help with one more thing. I know what you want to ask. This disease will claim me. Be it today or another in the future. It's a matter of when, not if. Hippocrates won't just let me kill you. No, but he listened to you. If you can convince him it's what's best for me, he might change his mind. I don't want to slowly waste away. I want to die in peace while my family remembers me in a good light. I'll talk to him for you. I appreciate your help. You've shown me more kindness in the last few days than most have my entire life. Now I must rest. If you have a moment, I would ask you to help me with something. He seems to be resting peacefully now. Yes, you helped ease his mind, but he'll never truly be at peace until he takes his last breath. When will that be? It's hard to tell. Judging by his symptoms, it'll be sooner rather than later. I can lessen his pain, but to do so, I'd need some hemlock. I'll collect the ingredients you need. Thank you. It won't stop the pain entirely, but I hope it'll help him feel more comfortable. He doesn't want to feel better. He wants to die with some dignity. True dignity would be fighting through this, so I can analyze his symptoms further. He wants to die, and he's in pain. You should respect his right to choose, instead of treating him like an experiment. What you're doing is wrong. I will not be lectured on the morality of my work by a sellsword. I have a responsibility, like all healers, to use my knowledge for the betterment of others. Hemlock is rare. Where do you harvest it? It grows all across Viotia, but check near the tumulus of Platea. I'm sure I saw some when I was last there. Why are you treating him with poison? Hemlock is deadly. Only in the wrong dosage. If my observations are correct, it should lessen the pain racking his body. I'll get the hemlock you need. That's what I'm looking for.
I got the hemlock you wanted. Thank you. I know this task was a little beneath you, but it will help my friend here. I've prepared the elixir base, but I need you to grind the herb and add it to the mixture. I think I can handle that. Be mindful of the amount you add. While the hemlock is an excellent pain inhibitor, too much can be lethal. Gods protect you, Pentheus. Come now, Pentheus. We must check to see how your symptoms are progressing. Pentheus? Pentheus! What? What's happened? He shouldn't have died yet. What did you do? He was suffering. I did what was necessary. It wasn't your place. I needed more time. There was still more I could have learned. Keeping him alive so you can study him isn't right. He was in pain and wanted to die. My job was to save his life, not end it. I chose to not help Galeos, and I was you wrong. You and I both know that's not why you kept him alive. Stop hiding the truth behind your cold. You're right. I knew I couldn't bring myself to end his life. But I thought the more I learned, the better chance I would have of saving others in the future. It was a noble cause. Treating patients should come before studying ailments, but I have a higher calling. If I'm to learn all I can, I need to travel and analyze the conditions other physicians are treating. Good luck, Hippocrates. I hope our paths cross again in the future. Embevoglis can lead. What seems to be the problem? Embevoglis be praised, Amistheus. I've done nothing wrong, yet these priestesses mean me harm. Please, my god is powerful and rich. His god is a Malaka, a blasphemous blight on Aphrodite's hallowed soil. This is a matter for priestesses alone. You said rich? Indeed. Empedocles rewards those who come to his call. Th these priestesses have imprisoned him in the fort. He's a god. He deserves worship. He doesn't sound like much of a god to me. How could you? You can't keep a god bound. And anyone who tried would die in the attempt. Embethoglis is not that kind of god. He is no god at all. Your words are an affront to the will of Aphrodite. If these priestesses speak for Aphrodite, then I speak for all three slobbering heads of Cerberus. Time to go save a god, apparently. Do as you will, Mistios. But even you cannot be everywhere at once. I'll be fine. Is there anything else you need to know? Where can I find this god of yours? They have him locked in a cage in Scandia Bay with the livestock. This would be shameful for any regular god, and more so for a vegetarian god. Does he stand out in any way? There may be more than one prisoner. The guards stripped him naked. <laughs> and when you are confronted with his gift, Embedoglis godly nature will be hard to deny. He's... Gift. Let's just say you'll know it when you see it. I know all I need. Your Empedocles will be freed. Do not worry for my safety, Mistios. It is Empedocles who needs your help. <clears throat> He's over there. There's the Murax camp.
sword. Another chink in the Athenian armor. humans. I, the great Empedocles, cannot be caged. Worship me, and I offer you an audience with the gods. Put down your blades. I offer those who follow me an audience with my brothers and sisters, the gods. Gods cannot need. So, so you best put down your blades. Do not stab my godly crop. Look upon my form, mortals. No need to thank me for your rescue. Your lack me is thanks enough. Me? Thank you? Here? With no audience? No, 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 my heroic friend. The stage is not set. Our performance is missing that most vital ingredient. An audience! Meet me by my personal statue so we may continue. We worship a little differently where I'm from. We don't kill a man for what he believes. We show respect. Respect is for the gods, not those who pretend to be them. The world is full of strife, yes, but also love. Embrace it. Embrace me. And I will personally introduce you to all my family. The gods! If being locked naked in a cell makes someone a god, the Pantheon would be overflowing. Maybe Embedocles is a god, maybe he's not. All I know is that he doesn't beat young men to death. I follow you proudly. Brothers, sisters of Githira, join me. You think betraying Aphrodite will go unpunished? You may not believe in my godliness, Mystios, but I believe. There's some god in you, and that we can put to use. Even a god won't work for free. Of course. What else would I spend my drachmi on? Clothes? Of course. Why would you? Perhaps you could aid me in another matter. I'll help you. How often do you get the help of god? Of my caliber? Never! Come, my well-muscled friend. There is much to discuss. But first... So you're not the god of getting to the point. The likeness is terrifyingly good, don't you think? Terrifying? Yes. What did you need? A god never needs help! But yes, please. I've been having trouble with my brothers and sisters. The gods? Family problems. When I first arrived on Kithira, I was imprisoned for my beliefs. They stole my purple robe, and inside it is a very special disc. The key to my family estate. And you want this disc retrieved? Of course. The disc is a key. A key that opens a door to the gods themselves. This disc must be returned to me. 
You said this robe thief intercepted you at the dock. Do you know where he is now? He and his guards patrol along Kithera's main roads. But he enjoys roughing up recent arrivals. The gods would protect themselves with more than a locked door opened by a disc. Oh, but you should see the door, Mistyos. Something so beautiful was not crafted by mortal hands. And my brothers, my sisters, I hear them calling me home from beyond it. What are your godly brothers and sisters really like, Empedocles? As any sibling, loving. Filled with strife. They once caught me eating lamb and cast me out. Though, between you and me, that lamb... Mm. Worth it! The gods wait for no one. Patience is not one of our virtues, no. Will you help? This disc sounds important. I'll find the man who stole it, and return it to you. No time, Mistyos! Come on! Found you! Look how he strides. The confidence. If I didn't know better, I'd say they were two gods of Kithera. I found your disc. Praise me. Clearly, I have worked through you. Clearly. Time to meet the gods, then? I'd love to introduce you to my family. Of course, if you're ready to join me. Well, this should be interesting. That, my dear Mistios, I can absolutely guarantee. A moment, please, while I address my audience. Rejoice! For I, your humble god, shall introduce you to my brothers and sisters. Athena awaits you! Ares demands your audience! That's a big promise. You doubt me? I don't doubt the joy you've brought your followers. Their loyalty will be rewarded. As will yours. We set sail for the Gulf of Corinth, and all the secrets she veils. Meet us there, and see the truth for yourself. And meet your siblings? I wouldn't miss it. The two total misses. What have you done? You killed my sub- Amistios? You'll be punished for what you've done. I- I didn't murder your son. It wasn't me. The gods have sent you to help me, haven't they? This crime will not go unpunished. Tell me what you need. Nemesis has heard my cries. What's going on? My son was murdered at the Murex warehouse. His head smashed in like an egg. It was Kithira's leader. I heard them arguing in the warehouse. Then why didn't you stop them? You lie! Go to the warehouse and find out who killed my son, Mistios. Justice must be served. Your son's death will not go unpunished. 
What evidence do you have against Kithira's leader? Your son was fooling around with the leader's daughters. All four of them. Daughters? I forbade him. Told him the leader is a fearsome and vindictive man. He was blinded by the reaches. Check the fort and you'll find the gifts they gave him. What makes you think he did it? We took him in and gave him a job. But all he's done is steal from us. My boy fired him, kicked him out. I did steal, but I would never hurt someone. You hurt him when you betrayed him, Malaka. That doesn't mean he killed him. Where is the warehouse located? At the end of the harbor. It's a bloody mess now. I'll go to the warehouse and see what I can find. Find out who the murderer is, Mistios. I'll make sure this Malaka stays put. I'm innocent. You'll see. This looks like the place. Malaka, that smell! Who knew dye so foul would be so expensive? This bracelet looks expensive. They could be gifts from the daughters, or an attempt to frame Kithira's leader. Not much blood, and his head was bashed in. Probably a blunt weapon. This must be the murder weapon. It's caked in dry blood. Heavy, too. There's no way the little guy could have swung this. What did you find, Mistios? I searched the warehouse and found a gold bracelet and a heavy stone tablet covered in blood. See? I told you you'll find gifts from the leader's daughters. It's not proof of innocence. What's this about a stone tablet? Tablet? I don't know of any tablet. Mistios, tell me who murdered my son. This worm or Kithira's leader? If the fort leader is as strong as you say, only he could have lifted a tablet like the one I saw. There's no way this scrawny thief could have swung it like a weapon. Then kill Kithira's leader. You will be paid when he ceases to draw breath. And make it a slow, painful execution. It will be done. Thank you, Mistios, for clearing my name. Ah! <laughs> Stop! Oh, 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 oh
body <laughs> gift from the goddess herself and by the fates she chose well you're making me blush stranger and I could do so much more I'm not sure about all of that but you can definitely fight I may be a priestess of love but I also bite I always bite. One has to be bold to attack a priestess. You must be important. I am Dioni, a simple acolyte born to serve Aphrodite. These thugs are dogs of the cult of Cosmos, and this has not been the first attempt on my life. The cult? Tell me all that you know. Now. Not here. We'll be safer in the city. Escort me? Let's go. You can tell me everything you know about the cult when we arrive. <sighs> Fucking bandits! I'll cut you all down! I'm safe here. The cult of Cosmos would never strike inside the city. Good. Tell me more about them. Right now? <laughs> At least let me catch my breath. And take a good long look at your beautiful self. Enough idle chatter. Tell me what you know about the cult. If you insist. We've always kept tabs on the cult, and lately they've gotten bolder. By the fates, they've driven my sister, the High Priestess, to lock herself in her chambers. A cult leader must be involved if they're trying to kill such a public figure. We're not dealing with the usual rats. My sister wants me to secure Keithra from the cult and sniff out the cultist behind her troubles. That could work. Your sister sounds smart. The plan isn't that praiseworthy. I was nearly killed. Unfortunate, but her plan is still good. Then help us secure Kithira and root out the enemy. By the fates, 
You've seen what can happen. I can't do this on my own. Uh, secure key, Thera. I don't work for free. A mystios indeed. The cult has plans for the Greek world. And with my ways, I know what they will do next and where they plan to do it. I imagine this information would be useful to you. Or if that isn't enough to satisfy you, I will. <laughs> Well, it has been a while since I've... Communed with the gods. And don't worry. Vrachmi will also be given for your services. You drive a hard bargain. So, what do you need me to do? Just three simple tasks. First, my associate by the harbor needs help. Pay him a visit. What else? My sister believes she has leads on a traitor within our ranks. If that's true, she'll need your help. Look for her in the temple. And lastly, poisoned blades are a priestess's weapon of choice. But some bandits sacked our apothecaries and have taken refuge in the Mykenian ruins. If it's not the cult, it's Malaki's bandits. Retrieve our poison vials. They will come in handy when fighting against the cult. This associate of yours, where is he? Ask for the harbor master at the tavern in Scandia Harbor. He'll be the obnoxious drunk. The temple, where is it? It's on Aphrodite's watch, up the hill. You'll find the high priestess there, hiding in her chambers. How will I get to these ruins? The Mykenian ruins are to the south of the city, north of Scandia Bay. The poison vials should be in a bag. It'll probably be in a chest in the ruins. Be very careful with it. I'll do what I can for you and Kithira. Thank you, Mistios. Perhaps when all this is over, we could unwind together. Priorities, Theoni. I'll see you later. Do not trust the fates. <sighs> address to the High Priestess. I see it. These look like the ruins the only spoke about. Best be on my guard.
Here is your apothecary's bag. With this, we can make sure all our priestesses are armed for battle. Excellent work, Mistyos. I have more questions. About me, maybe? This associate of yours, where is he? Ask for the harbormaster at the tavern in Scandia Harbor. He'll be the obnoxious drunk. The temple, where is it? It's on Aphrodite's watch, up the hill. You'll find the High Priestess there, hiding in her chambers. I'll be back. I take it you're the harbor master? I, I told you. I'll pay when I get paid. The Oni sent me. She said you needed help. The, the Oni? Wait, wait, wait. Who are you? I'm just helping her out. She has some information I want. Liar! I bet you want her more than you want information, don't you? Just tell me what needs to be done. Huh? You think you can do better than I have? Hm. As a matter of fact, I do. Fine. You want to prove yourself to Theone, right? The military has been a real pain in the ass lately. They've captured some mercenaries who are of interest to her at the fortified warehouse. She needs you to free them. I'll see to it. But it's going to cost you. <laughs> if you make it back alive, I'll fatten your pockets with Rakmi myself. Deal. But first, I have some questions. Freeing prisoners sounds treasonous. Why would she want to do that? In her paranoia, the High Priestess has ordered anyone suspicious to be detained. But these prisoners were mercenaries minding their own business. A mercenary's business is rarely their own. Still, the only wants them to help fight against her enemies. And let me guess, the only ones she can trust are those who can be bought with Ragmi. Exactly. Of course she trusts me too. Is the only someone special to you? I'm her lover. And I'll be the one to help get rid of her enemies. I promise that in exchange for... Why am I telling you any of this? I don't care what you think your relationship with her is. She's just using you. I'm her true love. Right. You keep telling yourself that. I've got enough to go on. You'd better get my drag me ready. Come back when you're done. If you make it out of the camp alive. <laughs> Found him. There he is. He's over there.
Maybe this will shake this spot. Grasp of power. They'll execute yeah. me. I did nothing wrong. I can never repay you. So I won't. I freed the prisoners at the military camp. There were three of them. Did you get them all? Yes, three of them. In all their balding glory. I guess you're more useful than you look. In that case, the Oni needs one more task fulfilled. A man needs to die. I'm listening. The Oni's enemies have forces on Hitra Atoll. They're going to use it as a staging area to launch attacks on Kithera. You need to exterminate these pests. You want me to go alone to an island swarming with enemies? Oh. Is that to have a task for the Oni's new champion? Tread lightly. Enough pointless chatter. She needs you to take out the cat in there. His men should disperse after that. But still, leave none alive. Will you do it? Consider it done. What more can you tell me? What more could you possibly need? Just kill the man. Any idea where I can find the captain? That rat should be somewhere around the shipwreck of the north coast of Hitra Adol. I led a small party that managed to maroon his ship. But we couldn't finish the job. He and his men will be on their guard. What is the quickest way to Hitra Atoll? Sail south from the southern tip of Kithara until you come across a shipwreck. Tell me what you know about the cult. What cult? Isn't the captain a cultist? He could be a Malacca's god for all I care. Dione says he wants to destroy her for rejecting him. That the only way for us to be together is if I remove him from the picture. Aren't you here for the same reason? to win her over. I'm here to dismantle the cult of Cosmos. I have no time or interest in the priestess. You can't fool me with your cult bullshit. No one can resist Theone's charm. And no one would ever call themselves that. Malakas, cult of Cosmos. Whatever. That's all I need to know. We'll send a fat amount of Rakmi to your ship when you're done. Excellent. Go! Get out of here! And don't you go talking to Theoni anymore! Or what? Or I'll... Uh, uh, just go! I see him. Mercenaries.
I bet people from all over come here to worship Aphrodite. I priestess, open up. So you can kill me? Who sent you? The Orni sent me. I'm a friend. What did that idiot girl send a Mystios for? I gave her orders to follow, not to delegate. She says you think there's a traitor in your midst. You can't trust anyone these days. What do you want with the cult? They ripped my family apart. I'll have vengeance. Excellent. Anger is a wonderful motivator. The Cult of Cosmos have much to answer for, and they will answer to me. Perhaps you will be of use to me after all. I sent one of my handmaidens to spy on some of our own, and... She hasn't returned. Indeed. Except I couldn't care less about her. It's the information she uncovered I desire. Retrieve it for me. Your dislike for your sister is obvious. What happened between you two? I'm the firstborn, and with that come certain privileges and responsibilities. My sister is a vindictive, jealous creature. She undermines my authority constantly. Clearly she thinks she'd make the better High Priestess. I see. But she is my sister, and I do love her. I just wish she wasn't a jealous little fool. Where should I start looking for her? I sent her to the outskirts of Kithira. Hmm. I recall there being a farm in that area. She might have taken refuge there. That's where I'll start then. She would be looking to avoid busy areas like the military camp. Wait. Did you have something to do with my prisoners being broken out of jail at the military camp? Yes, that was my doing. The harbor master said the high priestess locks up innocent people and executes them. I could not stand idly by. I wasn't going to execute them. Torture them, maybe, but all stand trial here in Kithira. That liar! The harbor master strikes out at the temple when my sister scorns him. But this time, he's gone too far. I'll overlook your involvement in this. Just make sure you get me that information while I deal with him. I found this note earlier on the body of a priestess at the farm. She was slain by cultists before I found her. What? Read it to me, quickly. It says, don't trust the fates. The rest of the papyrus is stained with blood. That makes no sense. She protected it with her life. It wasn't for nothing. Now we will never know for sure if there is a traitor in our ranks. But I cannot rule out the possibility. Our situation is dire. Work with the Oni. Secure Kithira for us, Mystios. I freed your mercenaries and dealt with the captain as you desired. That's good news. You've dealt a heavy blow to the cult's forces. You're getting sexier by the minute. Anything else? Your sister sends her regards. Did you find out anything about this traitor? Your sister has definite proof of a traitor. Wh what? Uh, that can't be. Who is it? 
You must tell me or I won't know who to trust. We don't know yet, but your sister is looking into it. I see. I too shall take my own precautions. A visit to see her might be in order. Thank you, Miss Dios. Is there something else? I've done what you asked. What now? My scouts will meet us at my villa. They'll fill us in on what they've discovered, thanks to your efforts. I have something else to attend to, but... If I get there, and we have some time on our hands, by the fates, <laughs> we'll have some fun. You'd better hurry. I'll see you at the villa. I will. Will you just move? We've been expecting you. Please follow me. She's instructed me to take good care of you before she arrives. Your shoulders must be aching. I'm sure I... You look like you're ready to go. Securing Kithira can wait. Good, because I can't. By the fates! Did she leave already? Yes. Quite a while ago, in fact. The Oni said something about the scouts and their report. Where are they? The Oni is done with you. Malaka! That's enough. We'll finish the job. The Oni is done with you, Mr. Oka. Now die! What's going on? I, I was just doing as I was told. If the Oni told me to take you to the garden, please don't kill me! Why did they attack me? I freed these men myself. The Oni played you like she did the High Priestess. The captain you killed was a leader for her sister's reinforcements. Uh, and the poison was to be used against you if you proved too dangerous. I'll show that snake exactly how dangerous I am. Why is the Oni doing this to her own people? The Oni hates her sister. She's been second best all her life. So she joined the cult to take power? I never expected her to take it this far. I'm going to kill this traitor. She's on her way to kill the High Priestess at the altar, north of the temple. You'll have to hurry. The altar? Good. Aphrodite will have a sacrifice tonight. Do you trust the face you see in your reflection? I don't. Leoni! Where is she? She has the High Priestess. But the altar...
You're identical twins? Don't move, or I'll cut you both down. Thank the fates. They were going to kill you. She's the only. Jealousy and bitterness have driven her to work with the cult. My. I can't believe you're twins. She's always been jealous of my success, mercenary. Living in my shadow has finally broken her. Kill her now! Lived in my shadow! I loved you, Theoni. I never wanted to be your superior. Mistios, you must kill her before she lets the cult take over Kithira. It pains me, but it must be done. You wouldn't feel a thing, you monster. I'm not sure you ever have. The High Priestess will know what was in the note from her handmaiden. Do not trust the fates! How could you possibly know that? Her end must have been so tragic she renounced the fates. The poor girl, it was all my fault. I sent her to spy on you, and you had her killed when she threatened to expose you. Don't listen to her lies. I am the High Priestess. I could just kill you both. Maybe I should. Kill us both? You truly think they care which one of us lives or dies? She speaks true. By the fates, with both of us dead, the cult will simply send their own high priestess to fill the void. You would know what the cult would do, wouldn't you, snake? What if I let you settle this yourself? Walk away and you'll have more blood on your hands. The Oni will surely slay me. Snake! She knows I am the one who will perish. If you do nothing, the fall of Kithira will be all your fault. Enough! Slay the Oni where she stands! Do the right thing, Mistyos. Slay the Oni! Shut up! You! I see right through you, the Oni. It's over. By the fates, I'll kill you both! Greece is finally free of your influence. Your cult leader has been sniffed out, High Priestess. My own sister. Oh, siblings. I hated her. But I loved her too. I know how that feels. You've secured Kithira for me, Mistyos. Now, about the cult of Cosmos. Good thing I killed the right priestess. Indeed. As High Priestess, it is my duty to call out to the Wayward and return them to Aphrodite's bosom. And if you've ever been to Pefka and met its inhabitants, you'll see why divine intervention is their only salvation. I've never been. Lucky you. One of my priestesses was sent there and came back... rattled. She spoke of a man... Melite. What about him? The people living in Pefka are terrified of him. He runs some shady operations, but what exactly, I can't be sure. Maybe this will be of help. Thank you, High Priestess. Now, if you'll excuse me, it is time to rebuild. Here. Legendary Knossos. 
once palace to King Minos. that chest. It's mine. I'm no thief, but if I was, I'd want something more valuable. Take that back! These ruins are an <clears throat> interesting place to set up camp. What brings you here? A long time ago, Below this very spot, my pater, the great adventurer Nikios, entered the labyrinth to steal the Minotaur's treasure. As I waited outside, I heard shouts and roars. Then his men came pouring out. His men, but not pater. I need to save him. A tragic tale. But last I heard, the Minotaur was living in Pefka. He's quite famous. They don't know what they're talking about. The real Minotaur is in Mesara. That's what they said in Pefka. It's a scam. Trust me, I know scams. Where is he then? You said the labyrinth was beneath us. Yeah, there's a creepy looking trapdoor beneath the temple. Take me there, and I will slay the Minotaur and find your putters. Find your putter. You? You'll do that? The Minotaur will die, and I will find your pater. Thank you, Mistios. No one ever believes me. <laughs> Just calm down and take me to the labyrinth. Now, what's your name? Ardos. Now follow me. The entrance is way down on the ground. It's down, this way. This place is going to blow your mind, Mistios. There's a huge room, and there's a huge hole in the ground. With a huge door. Everybody keeps going on about how Theseus killed the Minotaur. Lies. I heard it. A roar like... Like a rolling thunder. Yeah, that's it. The Minotaur is still alive and hungry. Great. I'm glad you came along. No pattern has a shot of getting out of that damn labyrinth. They really didn't have to put the entrance this deep. Here we are. Isn't this amazing? I've seen some things, Ardos, but this... ...is amazing! So the Minotaur lies beneath Knossos Palace. Open the door. I've got a Minotaur to slay. Ah, oh, right. It's locked. Don't worry, we'll find a way. You must know something. I don't, but the guys who went into the labyrinth with my pater will. I tried talking to them, but... But they won't speak to me. They'll speak to me. Who are these people? The Collector, Swordfish, and my old caretaker. My old caretaker. Boring old man. Never wanted to talk to me about my pater or the Minotaur. So I left him to find out the truth on my own. Huh, bold. And the collector is this guy who buys weird stuff. He's a merchant in Gortin. Oh, and the last guy, they call him Swordfish. <laughs> of course. He's the boss of Octopus Bay, and he's mean. Where should I start looking for swordfish? Fisherman's Beachhead in Heracleon would be your best bet. No one's seen him in years. Some think he's dead. Swordfish? 
He must have a long pointy nose. No, no, he's really good with a sword and he's really good with a fish, I guess. This collector, where is he? He lives in Gortin, near some red pillars, in a crazy house with lots of stuff. I've borrowed some trinkets from him. He has so many, he never even noticed. Don't let me catch you borrowing from me. From you? I would never get caught. Tell me more about this old man. Okay. So my old caretaker recently sent me a message about wanting to meet in Festos. That's nice of him. <laughs> he never answered me about my father or the Minotaur. Ever. That's why I left in the first place. I'll go in your place and see what I find. The message said to meet him at our old house, northeast of here, near Festos. I'll make sure they all talk. You must be the hoarder. The collector. Dust collector, maybe. I'm here about the Minotaur. The... No, no, no. I don't. I can't. I don't know anything about the Minotaur. Ardos sent me. He says you know things. Ardos? The boy. Never talk to the boy. We all promised. What you saw has scarred you. Those scars are starting to fade. Perhaps you'd like some fresh ones. No, please. I have answers. If you aim to survive that, that beast in the labyrinth, I know what you'll need. Tell me your secret, Collector. The armor of the Zeus himself. It's the only thing that can withstand the beast. But it's not here. It's in the fort. I had to sell it. There's nothing wrong with my armor. Nikios thought his armor was the finest in the Greek world. He could have worn Theseus's when we found it. But I was the perfect fit. Minotaur struck me right in the chest. Should have died. But Nikios... Don't make Nikios's mistake. Wear Theseus's armor. What do you know of the boy? Son of Nikios. Stubborn. A little shit. His father's son. You remember him fondly enough, yet you refuse to speak to him. If I speak, he might not listen. The truth is armor against little, Mistyos. You said you sold Theseus' armor. Who has it? A military commander, stationed in the fort. He has a cave filled with all sorts of prizes. The armor is his crown jewel. Sounds like a hard thing to part with. No, easy. That armor, it would have saved Nikios. It would have saved the boy's father. Yet, I wore it. I didn't deserve. The armor haunted me. No point keeping ghosts in my collection. Breathe, Collector. I've learned enough. If Tuseus' armor is still in the fort, I'll find it. There are more pieces of Theseus' armor. I've only managed to attain two of them. But someone stole one from me. If you find it, you can have it. But give whoever took it a piece of my mind. And perhaps a piece of your blade. The hidden cave! I need to stay hidden.
Seos's armor. It is real. I wonder how many more pieces of Theseus's armor are there. This must be Ardos's house. Where's the boy? Ardos. You're his caretaker? Of course. I need to speak with him. Don't worry about Ardos. He's safe. Far from here. Hmm. Where is he? I was told to expect an old man. You don't look the part. I... It's very important I see him. Who told you about the boy? Speak! It's nothing personal with the boy or the old man, but if I tell you anything, I am good as... Dead? Guess what will happen if you don't tell me anything. Oh, okay. What is it you want to know? Where is the old man? They're at Festos village, southwest of here. They got him tied to a post and they're beating him. What is to happen to the boy? I don't know, Mistyos. They just told me to bring him back. But we both know what they're capable of. And you'd bring them an innocent boy? You'd stand by as an old man gets beaten. B but... And you agree to kidnap the boy? They're just up the road. The cult. Go kill them all. You'll be doing me a favor, too. Let me go, and I won't tell anyone what happened. You put innocent people in harm's way. You won't get out of this alive. Stay away! The old man is alive. I should check the temple in Festos. There's the old man amongst those guards. The old man is here. They'll keep a sharp watch here. I must escape! I've told you everything I know! Wait, wait! Who are you? Ardo sent me. Can you walk? The boy! Thank the gods! Let's get out of here before they return! Breathe, old man! Ardos! The boy! Is he safe? Uh, alive? He's made a lot of enemies with his charm. At least he's safe from any danger I may have caused him. I'm looking for a way into the labyrinth. Ardos said you might know something. I know this. That place is death. What drove everyone out of the labyrinth? Something must have happened. I never went inside. I'm not a fool. But Nikios wanted me to watch the boy. I stayed outside and prayed. But I heard it. The Minotaur... ...to return. But Nikios... Ardos said his father is in the labyrinth. Is this true? Yes. He never came out. Though two who did, will never truly escape it. Ardo says you refuse to speak or talk to him about his father. How can anyone tell a boy the person he looks up to, his father and only family, is dead? 
What I can do in Nukios' honor is to stop his son from entering that cursed place. Why would they hurt you? When the survivors fled the Minotaur, they left behind a disc, the key to the labyrinth. And I kept it. Then why do they think Ardos has it? Because he does. He stole it from me. And I told them about it. <laughs> they tortured me, Mystios. <laughs> I, I tried not to break. I failed him. I failed him all these years. The people who tortured you belong to a powerful cult. And they have broken stronger men than you. You can still make things right with Ardos. As smart as he is, he still needs someone to look out for him. Family, he needs you. He doesn't even want to see me, Mistios. Keep trying. <laughs> About the disc. He doesn't know his true purpose, Mistios. With it, you'll be able to open the labyrinth. Just promise to keep him safe. He'll be safe with me. I should ask Ardos if the old man is telling the truth. This must be a part of Theseus' armor. Fancy. Gods! Mistios, I need your help. What's the problem? We've been ravaged by storms and rough seas. Poseidon is angry. Have you tried making an offering? A simple offering isn't enough to appease him. We need to perform a ritual, but we can't do it without our ceremonial axe. Sounds like you need to find that axe for Poseidon. I do, but not for Poseidon. For swordfish. Swordfish? Tell me more about him. He's the one who ordered us to conduct this ritual every month. He runs the fish market. I can't say anymore. No one talks about swordfish and gets away with it, Mistios. What if I insist? Then I insist you retrieve the axe for me. You insist? No, no. Politely request. And of course, there'll be plenty of drachmi for your help, Mistios. Do you know where the axe is? Bandits took it. There's a cave east of town. If you follow the path along the shoreline, I'm sure you'll find them. I'll go take a look. And don't swing it around. It's a delicate ceremonial axe. Here we are. I should watch my step around here.
Coming over! Doesn't look like it can cut anything. Need something else to find that axe, Mystios? Who is this swordfish you want to impress? He'll kill me if I tell you. And I'll kill you if you don't. Swordfish has always run the fish market with an iron fist. Charges the fishermen fees. If they don't pay up, the sharks eat well. Point me in swordfish's direction. I don't know where he is. No one's seen him for years, Mystios. Some think he's dead. Just last week, some fishermen boldly said we should no longer pay fees to a dead man. Guess who's dead now? I'll take my chances. Where is he? He used to live at Fisherman's Beacon to the north. You could try your luck there. This axe would fetch a good price at the Agora. No, you can't sell it. Give it back. I'll pay you. Take all the drachmi I have. The axe was yours to begin with. Take it. You had me worried, Mistyos. Thank you. I owe you my life. Dios en me perpese. I'm looking for swordfish. I, I, I know nothing. Get out of here. Fishmonger, I'm looking for swordfish. Shh! Are you crazy? You don't find swordfish. Swordfish finds you. Now go before I get my nose cut off. Hey, Mr. Over here! I hear you're looking for a certain fish. Yes. Swordfish. I hope you know what you're in for. He's ruthless. Cut off a man's nose just for sneezing. Why is it that every time I mention his name, people jump? Swordfish controls Heraklion and everyone in it. Where is he? No one's seen him in a long time. But there's a... Rumor, he controls Heraklion from a hideout underground. That's ridiculous. It's all I know, Mistyus. If he's so dangerous, why are you talking to me? I'm old, tired, sick of bowing down to pay fees. If you can take him out, we're all better for it. Not another word out of you, Malaka. I have orders. Everyone who talks about swordfish must die. I'll 
What's the problem? My husband is missing. He went out fishing yesterday near Nafi and hasn't returned. You must miss him. This is more than a wife missing her husband. I truly fear he's in danger. In danger of what? Pirates. They were spotted in the area recently. I told them it was too dangerous, but we needed the Drachmi to pay swordfish. Tell me about swordfish. My husband knows more about him than I do. Please save him, and he'll tell you anything. If pirates got to him, he may already be dead. I can't give up hope. He has a fast ship. If he saw the pirates, he'd head to the nearest shore. I could rescue your husband, for a price. Please, I'll find a way to pay. Just get him back. I'll look for your husband. Where should I start? His favorite fishing spot is on the west coast of Anafi, north of here. If he's alive, I'll find him. Wife sent me to find you. Praise Poseidon! The pirates were waiting for high tide to attack. We need to leave now. I'll escort you back to Heraklion. I'm right behind you. I owe you beyond measure. How can I repay you? There is enough widows in this world. We didn't need another. I was happy to help. We're behind on our payments to short fees, so your kindness is appreciated. But here, take this. Tell me about Swordfish. Swordfish? Uh, even his name? 
I last saw him many years ago, diving for treasure around Fisherman's Beacon. I haven't seen him since. But his presence is felt everywhere in Heraklion. He is here, somewhere. I should check out the waters near the beacon. This is it. Cosmos, have you come to bite? I have nothing to do with the cultists. Think I believe you? You're mad! I'm here for the... I won't go back! I won't go back in there! I don't care if I owe the cult. I want out! You want that artifact? Go fetch it! Once a cultist, always a cultist. What do you want from me then, Zemos? Answers, and you will give them to me. What happened in there that drove you to this? The Minotaur happened! I was lucky! Nikios, though. The Cosmos promised me everything! Not this! How did you end up here? I'm hiding amongst the filth. And from it, I can't show my face anymore. But Heraklion is still mine! All its fish, and all its people! You're insane. How did you get into the labyrinth? Nikios had a key. He put it into the steel. But you can't go in there. He'll kill you. It'll get out and kill us all! You underestimate me. That's what Nikio said! I'll feed you to the sack! So good with a sword after all. You can find Rachmi anywhere if you look hard enough. All it takes is a little persuasion. I didn't steal it. The old caretaker said you... Whoa, he told you stuff? Did he tell you anything about my pather? No, he didn't, but... What about the collector? He said you're like your pather. Really? That's nice to know. Look, the old caretaker said you... Wait, wait, wait! And swordfish? 
What did he say? You found him, right? He said you were a rude little boy that likes to interrupt. That's not true. Fine. Maybe I get a little excited sometimes. What are you going to say? The old man said you stole something from him. No, I didn't. Wait, what did he accuse me of stealing? The key to the labyrinth? A disc? Oh. You mean this old thing? I always wondered what it was for. Swordfish mentioned there was a place to put the disc in a steely. Oh, so what do we do now? If we put the disc into the steely, the entrance to the labyrinth should open. Then I see about the Minotaur. And, and you'll save my pattern too, right? I promised I'd save your pater, didn't I? You're the best, Mistios. Your pater and I will be back before you know it. Let's head to the entrance and try out the disc. Looks like a piece of Theseus's armor. Can't be Minoan. What is this? Malaga. It's real. By the gods. <laughs> the string Theseus used to navigate the labyrinth. Let's see what's at the end. Creature of rage did this.
left. Malakas Minotaur. And here we go. Mythical creatures. The Minotaur. Matter will be. Minotaur is dead. Thanks for your help, Ardos. Where's Petr? I searched the labyrinth and... I found his body in the labyrinth. Your partner is dead. You're lying. He wouldn't just leave me alone. Listen. You said you'd bring him back. You lied. Go back in there and find him. Ardos. You promised! He's dead, Ardos. We can't raise the dead. But we can move on. I'm afraid I'll forget him. I don't want to forget him. I'm sorry. There's nothing more I can do for you. Still, <laughs> you tried. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Theos. We should get out of here. What will you do now? I don't know, Miss Theos. Without batter, I don't know. Maybe you can figure it out together. Ardos. Remember, you're never alone. There will always be people who care. Stay out of trouble, boy. You know I can promise you that. I'll make sure of it, Mistios. Thank you. Let's go home, Artos. I'd like that. I'm sorry I stole the disc. I understand. Who among you? It Who among you is prey alone weak? Ah, a mighty specimen approaches. Are you ready for honor, for glory, for certain death? I'm ready for two-thirds of that. Then you seek combat with the Minotaur! The Minotaur is already dead. By my hand. You killed the Minotaur? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I'm, I'm sorry, friend. You're very mistaken. Some scam artists fooled you with flame-lit corridors and flimsy costumes. The 100% genuine and completely real Minotaur lives here. <laughs> and uh, you better believe it. If you slay the Minotaur, you would be Theseus reborn. And you'd get to take home the prize of Pefka! Your Minotaur must die. Sounds like we have another contender! It's time for the trials of the Minotaur! Three trials. Did you just say Minotaur pre-trials? To face the Minotaur, you must first prove yourself worthy by completing three heroic trials. We can't let people fresh off their Teremis casually stroll to their deaths. Kafka policy. What do these pre-trials require me to do exactly? There's the trial of strength, where you fight the greatest warrior in all of Crete. The trial of accuracy, which only a keen eye can overcome. And the trial of endurance, where you must brave the water. One of your trials is swimming? That's... Uh, this is a scheme to fleece me. <gasps> Mystios! I... That's... How could you even think such a thing? You're a terrible person. Tell me about your Minotaur. Part man, part beast, all monster. His horns are as sharp as blades. His blades are as sharp as... Horns? Wait, uh, no, I, I always messed that up. A vivid portrait? You must have seen him personally. Many times. And I'll tell you this much. No one's ever returned from where he dwells. What exactly is the prize of Pefka? Why, it's limitless riches, of course. Warriors defeated by the Minotaur no longer need their drachmi. So we collect their coins into a grand prize that only a champion who kills the beast may claim. Your grand prize is drachmi looted from the dead? Mystios, please believe me. Many of the coins go straight to the Lato school for children whose parents were tragically killed by the Minotaur. I see. How would you react if I said the name Melite? Uh, Melite? Well, I, uh, uh, no, I've never heard of them. It's a strange name, one I'd remember. I'll do your trials. Pre-trials! I'll do your pre-trials. But then the Minotaur's head is mine. Fantastic! Don't forget to collect tokens of success from the trial masters to prove your victories. Ugh, another champion here to save us all from Pefka's long queues and overpriced Minotaur merchandise. Ah, may I introduce my wife, Cory? A rare beauty and so... so loud in front of my new friend. <laughs> Please, Leandros. There are more important things than glory. Not everyone with a sword seeks glory. Family comes before all else. Exactly, Mystios. That's what I keep telling this cowardly slime in the shape of my husband. Hey! It's... It's our daughter. Your daughter? Amara. She ran off days ago. I'm sure she's... She's just fine. Don't worry about Amara. Not when there's a Minotaur to slay! Grrr! Slash! Slash! Big fight! Lots of blood! Think of the fame, Mystios! Think of winning the prize of Pefka! Please, trust me, champion. Nothing is what it seems in Pefka. Solving one problem may just solve all the others. Go, my legendary friend! The pre-trials of the Minotaur await! Who among you is strong? Then I say, prove yourself! This is a restricted area! <laughs>
Here a poorly muscled challenger. You are here to have your feeble frame crushed in my pre-trial of strength, yes? My feeble frame might be harder to crush than you think. <laughs> so brave, pretending you have a chance against a warrior as strong and handsome as me. We may fight for my token, yes. But maybe you would prefer to remain uncrushed and buy my token instead. Yes? No. We fight. Are you sure you would not prefer to spend your shiny drachmi? We fight. Then let the crushing begin. You should have bought my token, yes? Ah! Very good price. Now you must pay a new price. <laughs> Death! I will use your bones to pick your other bones from my teeth! <laughs> this isn't what winning feels like! Crush! Crush! What... what am I feeling? What is this? The shame of defeat. This is defeat? Winning is better, yes. The token of strength is yours. Have a wonderful day and please don't hit me again. I need all of the trial tokens. Anyone got some olives? for that. Stay away. I warn you, pay to pass this trial, potential champion. The trial of endurance has seen more deaths than all the other trials combined. Were others drunk when they jumped? Actually, yes. Very unprofessional of them. Should you survive the champion's dive, you'll need to retrieve my trial token from a chest in the darkest depths of the water below. Your token will be mine. No, please, I urge you, pay me for my token. The watery dangers you must otherwise face to retrieve it are too great. You won't get one drag me from me. I'll do the trial. Uh, if an excruciating underwater death is what you desire, who am I to stop you? Remember, you'll find my token in a chest at the bottom of the lake. I'll be waiting for you at the water's edge in the extremely unlikely event you survive. How exactly does going for a swim test my ability to slay the Minotaur? Minotaurs work in mysterious ways. Seems like a lot of hassle for a token. Looks like I'll have to get wet. That's what I'm looking for.
don't lose your token champion. But if you do, I can give you a fantastic deal on a replacement. Why they have to get my luck as boys? What trouble have they gotten into now? Their mother's going to feed me to that damned Minotaur. This must be the pre-trial of accuracy? Hmm? Oh, yes. This is the pre-trial of accurately finding my Malakas sons. Your sons? This doesn't sound like a trial. Have you tried raising sons? It's perhaps the greatest trial of all. Only by completing the world-famous and totally legitimate pre-trial of accurately finding my sons can you proceed and face the Minotaur. So, if I find your sons and make sure they're safe, you'll give me your trial token? You'll get my token and my eternal gratitude. <sighs> I'll find your sons and pull them out of whatever trouble they've stumbled into. They usually hide in the fields behind me. May I suggest you prepare yourself mentally and physically. This will be your greatest trial yet, brave warrior. If you want me to find your sons, I'll need to know more about them. They're little sheets. Wondrous. Beautiful. But sheets all the same. They won't listen to me, but perhaps they'll listen to you. You said your sons are likely in the field, but I'll need more to go on. They climb on everything. Buildings, towers, the crops, all the crops! They're exactly as tall as my sons, creating the perfect place for them to hide. Ah, they never listen when I call for them. They'll listen to me. Don't worry. I'll make sure your sons come home safe. You must find all three of them. And hurry, there's only so long my wife will believe they're off praying at the temple. Found him. There he is. I see him. <laughs> you never Go home to your father and do as he says, or I'll tell the Minotaur where you live. But uh, I hate you, Mistyos! You're safe. Go home. And listen to your pater when he calls for you. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I still need to find the trial master's other sons. I'm sure. Home. Now. And that's the last of the sons. Better head back to the trial master. <laughs> My sons! You brought them home! You are right. They are little shits. Mm. 
I can't believe they listen to you. Consider the trial of accurately finding my sons complete! Of all my victories, this is the one I'll be most remembered for. That's all three tokens. Better meet Leandros at the Warrior's Rest. I have your Malakas tokens. No more games, no more schemes to rob me of my Rachmi. It's time to slay a Minotaur! Absolutely, Mistios. Uh, no problem. But first, perhaps you'd like to buy back your exquisite, uh, finely crafted trial tokens? This offer will expire in... Uh, By the gods! They uh, make for fantastic gifts. Not another Drachmi. Oh, but champion, surely you want something to help you remember the Pefka pre-trial? I... sorry, 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 sorry. Then all that's left is facing our star attraction himself, the Minotaur! Are you ready to meet your doom? If your pre-trials are anything to go by, yes, yes I am. Well, good! Great! I, I, I want you to fight the Minotaur! You'll find the beast in the depths of the Cave of the Brave, on the Zithki Plateau. Two other warriors have just completed their pre-trials. You can speak to them for more information. They'll join you when you're ready to, you know, die horrifically. You've come all this way. Join us. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have a very important uh, pottery lesson to attend. So... <clears throat> And you must be the... warriors. Look, brother! The final member of our Minotaur hunting party has arrived! When the beast sees our assembled might, he will moo miserably in fear! Do Minotaurs moo, or...? If it's all right with both of you, I'd like to strike the killing blow. Or can we at least say I struck the killing blow? I'm willing to haggle down to played a key role in distracting the Minotaur while allowing the killing blow to be struck. The killing blow will go to the warrior with the greatest skill and courage in battle. Then I shall wear the Minotaur's entrails as my necklace. Uh, this can only end well. Are you ready to ride? Let's slay a Minotaur. Leandro says it lives in the Cave of the Brave, on the Dicti Plateau. I say, let the Mino Tournament begin! If the Minotaur eats humans and lives right next to the population of Befka, how are they all still alive? Perhaps the diet of Befka disagrees with you. Good thinking, brother. Let us dip our blades in rich oils and onions to gain an edge in combat. <laughs> supposed to live in a <laughs> That's a myth. Isn't the Minotaur a myth? No. He's the half-fool, half-human bastard son of King Minos' wife. Sounds like a myth to me. I hear the Minotaur was slain by Theseus. Impossible! If Theseus killed the Minotaur, how can it be here? Beware, beast! For soon I shall use your spinal column as an eating you. There's no glory here! Only death! No, no, no! I only ever wanted to be a maker! Brother, wait! There is more glory in beast slaying than in bread making! Uh. Whoever lives down here must be a monster. These bodies have arrow wounds and cuts from weapons too small to be wielded by a minotaur.
I am the Minotaur. <laughs> what? Drop all your valuables and flee in terror, M mortal. Leave me your drachmi, and you shall be spared. Otherwise, death by hoof awaits you. Fear my moo. Fear it? Malaka. I am going to start stabbing until someone tells me what's going on. Last Minotaur I killed talked less. Killed? No, uh, we don't have to use the the K word. I mean, grrr. tell me what's going on, or I'll cut it out of you, and take off that Malacca's mask. Leandros, I told you nothing is what it seems in Pefka. I'm. I'm happy to refund any expenses incurred. Please, it's my daughter, uh, Amara. Masked men are holding her captive deep in the canyons of Titi Plateau. Masked men? What kind of masks? Uh, uh, white like marble, bleeding from their eyes. Horrific! The cult. They control everything in Pefka. Lured champions from all over with the promise of Minotaur slaying glory. Only to swindle and ambush them down here in the dark? Honorless. If I don't do as they say, uh, Amara dies. If I take off my mask, or tell my wife, or ask for help, she dies. Tell me about your daughter. Amara. The sound of her laughter is sunlight on my skin. She is joy, Mistios. One night, the masked men took that joy from me. They needed my silver tongue to lure wealthy warriors to their trials. In Amara, they found all they needed to control me. You said the cult, uh, the masked men, have your daughter in the canyons of Dicti Plateau? There are a lot of canyons. But only one holds Amara. There is a place called Zakros, an ancient ruin and the bastion of the masked men's power. I go there every night, hoping to catch a glimpse of her, but I never have. I fear they keep her underground, where she'll never see the sun. How many men have you sent to their deaths with a speech and a smile? Thousands. More. But their lives will never outweigh my Amara. She's all I have. But now I have you, don't I? You. You can free her from those Malacus masked men. Tell me. Whose face would Amara wish to see rescue her? Mine, or her father's? Be brave, Leandros. Bravery, yes. You're right, Mistios. No matter what, I must be there for my Amara. Please, will you join me? We will save your daughter, together. Thank you, Mistios. Meet me outside the ruins of Zakros on Vitki Plateau. That's where my daughter is, and where I must be. These masked men! They're organized and unafraid. Their greatest weapon is no blade, it's our greed. Every merchant, every man and his slave earn enough drachmi out of the charade to make Midas blush. The myth of the Minotaur makes us all rich, and we turn a blind eye to the cost. Gah! Why is the suit safe? I used a whole bottle of olive oil. Hard to breathe in a costume this magnificent. By Zeus, this fair doesn't breathe at all. You are the Minotaur. You are the Minotaur. You are the Minotaur. You are the Minotaur. The last Minotaur. I'm coming, Amara. Don't be afraid. And don't you be afraid, Leandros. She needs you.
over here. It's me. You came. I was sure I'd fight alone. I'll stand with you, Leandros. No matter what happens today, Amara will be proud of her father. I see you're still a minotaur. I faced many of the Greek world's deadliest warriors in this mask. Granted, I was just there to distract those warriors with my roars and threatening gestures so they could be ambushed and stabbed from behind. But wearing it makes me feel brave. And you look it. It would be an honor to fight alongside the mythical Minotaur. Yes, yes! Moo! Don't do that. They must be keeping her underground. With hooves and heroics. We shall save her! But Zachros is well defended. How should we proceed? We charge! No, you I'll die. tear you straight! I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. Mortals! You are no match for the Minotaur! Found her. No, please. I'm quiet. I can't be quiet. Take cover. I'll find you when I know it's safe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There must. Me. Well, <gasps> is that the Minotaur? 
Show her. Father? You're the Minotaur? Maybe don't tell your mother. I waited and waited and... You weren't going to leave me here, were you? You were just working on your plan to save me, right, Pater? Of course. I was always coming for you. I just... Uh, needed to find something first. The people who took you. If there's anything you overheard, anything that could help me stop them. While I pretended to sleep, their leader spoke at a meeting place in Kidonia. I wrote down all the masked men's whisperings. Hopefully something in here will be useful to you. My friend, we're heading to my wife. She keeps a vigil for Amara at the warrior's rest. Come with us. See the gift you gave. Our family, together. After you. Amara! Amara! You're alive! Mother! My family, you did this? Thank Leandros. When the time came for action, he charged, despite being outskilled and outcostumed. He fought courageously. Your husband is no coward. Perhaps there are some heroes here. No one's ever won the prize of Pepka! Everyone who's died facing the Minotaur has had their drachni go in the vault, growing year by year. And now, a tiny but well-earned portion of it is yours. Thank you for a... a tiny portion. Of course. Less taxes, reasonable operational expenses, and... I'll make sure all of it reaches your boat, Mistios. You've earned it. <laughs> oh, and... Hmm, this is for you. A coward doesn't deserve to be the Minotaur. You do. Quite the compliment. Pefka is no longer safe for us. Freeing Amara will bring repercussions from people who are not known to be forgiving. But we're alive, and whatever future we have, and we have it only because of you. Be safe. Only the best warriors rest here. Heroes. They aren't many. But they're heroes of the arena. Those who earned an honorable death. The others are buried in unmarked holes far from here. Nobody remembers them. When your time comes, do you think you'll be worthy of the title hero, Mystheus? I'd be more than worthy to rest here, if someone proves strong enough to kill me. I've heard tales of you and your exploits, Mystheus. Impressive, if they're true. Depends on what you've heard. I've heard a lot. A warrior adventuring across the land. Sometimes they're half-beast, or half-god. But always an eagle-bearer. Champion of the Battle of One Hundred Hands. Tell me, is any of it true? They're all true. And there's more you don't know about. Good answer. I don't care if the stories are true. I can see you have it in you. A capacity for greatness. The potential to be... a real hero. I am Mayon. Alexios. If you want to truly live Alexios, to become a hero of the arena, and to win riches beyond your wildest dreams, you'll need to fight in my arena. Sounds interesting. Good. Take my boat, and head up the Pefka coast towards the shipwreck and into the mouth of the valley. There, you'll find the entrance to my arena, and Skura, who handles my fighters. If he sees what I see in you, I think he'll have much to be excited about. That must be Skura.
What an entrance. Varnavas told me about the arena. I should give it a go. <laughs> Do you hear that? I hear nothing but the wind. <sighs> exactly. Nothing. Right. They tell me you could hear the crowds from all the way out here. The thirst never quenched. Thirst? For what? Combat in the arena, Mistios. Life and death in their purest forms. Love, hate, glory and ruin. All there for the crowds to devour. My name is Skura. Alexios, I found a note that mentioned this place. And you. It called for fighters from all over the Greek world. These walls no longer shake because there are no heroes of the arena left. The crowds don't care about real fighters anymore. They just want blood. But you, Mystios, you could change that. You could make them care. And win riches beyond your wildest dreams, of course. If you were to fight and win. Perhaps I can make the arena walls shake once again. Good. Tell me about the other fighters. As a new contender, the choice of opponent will be yours. No slaves here. No hapless criminals. Just warriors with a resolve to spill blood for the crowd. I see. There are five current champions. Each one more bloodthirsty and ruthless than the last. You'll need to defeat each of them if you are to be called hero of the arena. Tell me more about the arena. It's been here for decades, but recently it's changed. As most things do. True. Fighters today care only about Drachmi, not honor. And the crowds now come only to watch one warrior got another. They're jaded. They want more than just killing. They want cruelty. My blades and I are ready. Choose your opponent. I'll fight this king of the bandits. For those of you about to risk your lives, the crowd salutes you! I'm putting you down! Do you hear? You must have done well in there. Did you not see? I haven't seen a fight from inside the arena in years. 
But if the crowds are cheering like that, perhaps I have a hero on my hands after all. Of course they cheer for me. Who could resist cheering for a warrior legend in the arena? Maybe the stories I've heard are true. Skura? My own? Ah, Mistyus. I knew it as soon as I laid eyes on you. You could be... could be hero of the arena like Skura. If you keep fighting, I foresee a long and profitable career. For both of us. Talk to Skura when you're ready to continue. Choose your opponent. I will spear Velos like a wild animal. For those of you about to risk your lives, the crowd salutes you! I'm putting you down! Your blade, Mistyos. The spear. It reminds me of long ago. Of the Persians. This spear has killed many Persians. As have I. On the battlefield and in the arena. You fought in the Persian Wars? I did. What was that like? Hard. The Persians were a formidable enemy. They had the numbers. They had warriors from atolled conquered lands in their armies. It took a united Greek war to turn them back. Anything less would have been total defeat. A united Greek world? Seems like fantasy now. Agreed. But coming back from the war was harder than the war itself. Maon and I found daily life afterwards to be... difficult. We had been men filled with life and death purpose. We found that again in the arena. What was the arena like in your time? It was a place of honor and heroism. I bathed my blade in blood for years. But that was a different time. And I was a different man. How exactly did you become hero of the arena? What did you do? I survived. I have to go. You've done a warrior's job in the arena. Keep it up. Thank you. Choose your opponent. I'll hunt Ivanti in the arena.
You want the best! I said, do you want the best? Do you want the best? Well, she are Or... A warrior in the arena doesn't have many privileges, outside those of pleasure, fame, and glory. Tell me, Mistyus, do you have anyone close to you? Friends? Family? Lovers? I have people in my life. People that are important to me. Do you have that as well? Hmm. My daughter's very important to me. Surely you have friends from your days in the arena. I did. What happened to them? I'm hero of the arena. The number one champion. I've killed them all in honorable combat. They rest down the coast from here. What about your family? Your daughter? My beloved Danea. The first time I held her in my hands, I knew I'd never be able to kill again. She's the reason I stopped fighting, even if I can't disentangle myself from the arena entirely. How long ago was that? Years ago. Many years ago. I won't push any further. But come see me fight. I envy you, Mistyos. You have everything to gain. Don't let it slip away. Choose your opponent. The rock from Athens is about to be crushed. You want the best! I said, do you want the best? Do you want the best? I'm putting you down! Oh, 
I will lead those who oppose us to the gates of the underworld. Cosmos, be my guide. Choose your opponent. Vasilis will have devoured his last opponent. For those of you about to risk your lives, the crowd salutes you! It ends here! Congratulations, Mystius. You've lived up to what Mayon and Tai saw in you. You're destined for greatness. Thank you. I'm done, Mystius. I'm living. A life outside the arena gates is no longer for me. I need to move on. Where will you go from here? What will you do? I need to live life the best way I know how. Will you see your daughter? My little Anea? Yes. I think I'll see her. I hope we meet again, Skura. Why do you want to leave the arena now? It's because of you, Mystheus. 
I finally watched you in the arena. How long has it been since you've watched the fight? A long time. But I'm glad I went back in. You've stirred feelings in me I thought to be long dead. I understand, friend. Friend? Not old man? Not old man. Friend. Oh, before I leave, I've set up one last fight for you. The best arena fighter the Greek world has to offer. It won't be easy. But then again, nothing in the arena ever is. Are you interested? I'll do it. Gross. You want to fight someone in the arena? I'll face this mystery opponent in the arena. Skura said even the gods will cheer for this one. Look at this, Mystios. Feel it. Everything I've been collapses down into this moment. The war, my time in the arena, my daughter Anea, and you. You, Mystios. Why are you doing this? I found a way. Thanks to you, I found a way to live again. What about Anea? Think of her, Skura! I've been thinking of her every day since she was born. And now more than ever. You need to rethink this! You don't know what you're doing! I know exactly what I'm doing. You're going to have to fight me, Mystios. I won't hesitate killing you if you let me. Fine, old man! I'll send you into the next life. By all means. Not bad for an old man. Not bad at all. I thought so, too. What about Anea? Your daughter? Anea's gone. She's been dead for nine years. So when you said you'd see her again? I was scared that when I finally saw her again, she'd see what I'd become. A useless old man. But you showed me there was still a way I could go to her proudly. As hero of the arena. Do you think she'd be proud? She'd be proud. I would be. I'll tell her of a new hero of the arena. A warrior of true honor. Thank you, friend. Peaceful, isn't it? It's what we all hope to earn one day. Peace and respect. How do we truly earn those? Peace and respect? Once we're gone, our deeds must speak for themselves. They've defined us and our legacy. It's how we're remembered that matters most. 
How will you remember Skura? I'll remember him as he truly was. A hero of the arena. And a friend. The crowds never rest, Mistyus. Would you like to go back to the arena with me? Let's go.